Hey everyone, I'm very excited to show you today's make, or should I call it a remake? Hmm. <laughs> this month's theme over at the Blank Slate Patterns blog is reuse. We were encouraged to reuse, recycle, or upcycle for our makes this month. There was this top in my closet that I made last year and wore maybe one time. I just didn't think it was that flattering on me. The ruffles ended up hitting me at the hip, which just made me look even bigger than I am, I thought. I debated chopping the ruffle off, but then it would have just been a boring, like, tee. So there it hung in my closet, alone and neglected. So when I was challenged by Melissa to reuse something for this month's blog post, I immediately thought of that shirt and what I could do with it. The tulip top has been on my list of things I've wanted to make for some time now. Pretty much everyone has seen and fallen in love with Sobon's version and I wanted my own. Like exactly. Actually I just wanted Erin to send me hers but that didn't seem likely. So I ended up making my own. I ended up adding three inches to the bodices of the tulip top pattern to get the tunic length Sobon has. It's a smidge too long for my liking so I'll probably reduce the altered length to just two inches longer for my next tulip top. Easy enough. Luckily, I had about three quarters of a yard of this quilted fabric left over from the ruffle top project, so I used that for the front panels and the back piece. And the sleeve came from the old ruffle top. The actual ruffle from the top became all the bias bindings for this top. In hindsight, I probably would have made this top with longer sleeves, but I only had so much fabric I could use from the original top. The original top had like regular set-in sleeves and the tulip top has raglan sleeves, so I couldn't really convert one to the other and I ended up having to cut the sleeves out of the bodice and that didn't leave me with a lot of fabric to work with. In the end, I really like my new tunic and I know I'll get more wear out of it than I would have from the original top, so that's a win in my book. Be sure to check out the description box below for a link to get your own tulip top. Be sure to check out the description box below for a link to get your own tulip top pattern and be sure to check out the Blank Slate blog for more awesome makes from Melissa's awesome library of patterns. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any garments hanging in your closet that you think you could reuse on another updated project. Until next time, bye!